welcome back to the chaos. This is Houseplant Therapy, and in today's video, we're gonna go through some of the chaos that's been going on. For starters, we have a mealybug infestation. This is our 125 gallon aquarium, and this is uh, Apophos Growth Madness, and it kind of sucks because we have a breakout of mealybugs. You can kind of zoom in, in there. Um, so we've been kind of battling how to treat these and we've been using some alcohol swabs. We've been trying to like manually kind of clean it and it's a hot mess. Um, so my girlfriend purchased some insects, uh, or actually these are the eggs of a certain type of insect, right babe? Green lace wing, I think. It's... Green lace wing and these are the eggs. This yeah, seems that's supposed to be the eggs. Yeah, it seems absolutely crazy to me. But um, these are supposed to hatch. And um, yeah, if you guys have ever had an experience with these, hit us up in the comments because we're super interested and we're looking for ideas on how to treat this. Um, I thought about like maybe putting in a screen, a screen over it or something. And I don't know, we're at ends meet with what we want to do with it. Uh, hit us up in the comments. We need your help. So the next cool thing that we finished, this has been a project that we've been working on for quite some time. Um, what we do is we take water from the fish tank to water the house plants. A lot of times we just fill this here and we dunk it in there. But anyways, it was getting annoying. So what I did was I built this mechanism that self water or not self waters, but it, there's a little pump on the inside of this like canister box in here. And what it does is um, it runs off of a remote. And what we do is you, it, it's powered by like a remote thing. So when I hit this button, the pump turns on and the water is being pumped through the hose. And now we can water all of our house plants using this hose. It's pretty sweet. Um, here, I'll just, I'll show you how it works. This is just a basic valve. And all you do is kind of just water your plants as you want as you wish so this is really going to help um as you guys know this this shelf is a self-watering shelf so literally we can just bring this in here and self or not self water keep saying that but water it and it self drains and it goes into that bucket so i'm pretty proud of this um i don't have an engineering degree but i feel pretty special about it so <laughs> let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this so yes, this is a channel on house plants, but as you guys know, I also am a aquarium YouTuber and I just hit 60,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's Palmer Aquatics, if you guys wanna sub. But anyhow, um, we got a really new cool fish that I think you would love. It's a puffer fish and it's over in this tank over here. It is a hairy puffer, which is kind of a rare puffer from Indonesia. And we set up this tank kind of on the go we went to the fish store and we just kind of like by chance saw this guy and he was a hundred bucks and we walked away with him. So um, what we're going to do though is we are actually going to grab some earthworms and we're going to feed him at the end of the video. So you've got to stay tuned. So he looks super grumpy and he's just, he's almost like, he's so ugly that he's cute. I absolutely love him. Here are the worms that we're gonna be feeding them to. I grabbed these from the fridge. We just got these at like the bait store. But yeah, at the end of this video, we're gonna feed them and it's pretty crazy because he has like a super powerful beak and I feel like you guys will thoroughly enjoy it. So we got some new food here in the mail today to review. This is some blackworm fi black fish food. And I figured I'd kind of just showcase what this looks like when we feed this tank because it's super cool. So there's like a buttload of fish in here. I'm gonna just kind of dip these black worm pellets. Come on guys. Ah, they, they float. That sucks. Try my best to get them to sink. Is there a lot of glare or not too bad? There's a lot of glare. Is there? That sucks. Yeah, there's probably like maybe 50 fish in here, so it's pretty cool. So we picked up a couple new plants a couple days ago, or maybe like a week or so ago. Um, we got this philodendron. 
Um, do you remember what the name of it is, babe? I think it's like Jungle Boogie. Jungle Boogie, huh? Or like Tiger's Teeth or something like that. Then we got this variegated peace lily from Home <clears throat> Depot. And I think the thing, didn't you say that just recently flowered? Yeah, this new one right here. Which is pretty, which is pretty cool. We're thinking about taking this apart and actually trying to find a home for it to put in a fish aquarium because it's really it's really popular to, to put these peace lilies in aquariums. I wish I wish we would have got like a bit of a smaller one, but um, I think we got a pretty good deal on this. Mm -hmm. uh, worst case scenario, we keep this one and then don't get like a normal boring one, a small one because it's it's hard to fit like uh, this huge peace lily in like inside of an aquarium. We're gonna be doing a video on that probably as well on the aquarium channel. So, um, but yeah, the house plants, uh, we did a, you guys know, if you follow the channel, we put these shop lights on the ceiling and it's kind of been a bit scary if, a lot, if some of these plants that came from the porch are gonna be all right in the inside because we had to take out all the plants from in the shelf or out in the porch, I mean. And I don't know, in your opinion, do you feel the plants are doing all right? They're doing all right. This snake plant looks, I've seen better days. Spider plant? I've seen better days. Or spider plant, what did I call it? Snake plant. Oh, sorry, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that thing's... Why do you think it looks like this? What's your opinion? Neglect. Neglect. Is it watering? No, oh. I bet it's light. This guy wants more light, maybe? It's watering. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're probably going to be propagating some of these plants. We just got to figure out which ones we want to propagate because, yeah, I think... I think this guy is asking for a haircut. Yeah. We got a little propagation rack in the other room we got we to gotta fill. We can go take a look at it if you want. 